So I don't know why I am so giddy, but this is a tutorial that I absolutely love. I've wanted to make pictures talk with my voice, and so it could be any picture you find on the internet or your own pictures you upload. Um, here I have a, a llama talking that hey, I have made at some point. Yeah, yo. I'm talking to you, buddy. Yeah, me the talking llama. And you might be saying, that is totally ridiculous. And actually, that's why I love it. In fact, I made a chicken here sing a million dreams from The Greatest Show. And again, totally ridiculous, which is why I think you're going to have a blast learning how to do this. So here's what you need to do. You need to get on blabberize.com, and I'm going to begin from the beginning as if I were new so that you can see how you will need to create an account. So I'm going to pretend I'm going to log out and then I'm going to say log in or sign up. And over here, you would want to put in a username. Um, hopefully you can think of a username. Um, you'll put in an email and a password and you will get set up and you'll make, need to make sure you do that first. All right. At this point though, I've already been logged in. So I'm just going to simply log in. And give it a moment. Sometimes Blabberize takes a moment to um, figure things out. And then I'm going to click Make. Okay. So at this point, it says Find a Picture. So if you have already downloaded a picture or have some ready, you could just say Browse. But more than likely, you're going to have to do an image search. So um, I opened up a new tab. And earlier, I looked up Mr. T. Now, Mr. T is a character that I grew up um, watching. Uh, you probably have no idea who that is. But anyways, you'll notice that um, down here is the thumbnail. It's a lower quality image. You don't want to save that. You want to click on it. And on the right, you're going to get a higher quality image to work with. So once you find the image, you're going to right click and you'll say save image as. And one of the most important things is you take note of where it's saving to. A lot of times uh, people will save it to a a folder where they have no idea but this one's going to my desktop so I'll press save and then I'll jump back to blabberize and now I can browse and since I'm on my desktop I could begin typing in Mr. T and I had already looked it up and here it is so at this point your picture is here and if you needed to crop things out you could but as you can see this one is actually um, pretty well cropped the way I want it so I'm gonna Press the next button. And this next part is probably the most important part. This is getting the mouth region outlined. And so you'll drag this uh, object over the mouth. And I like to take these purple um, circles or dots and put them right on the edges of the mouth. And then this little green one. I need to make sure it splits the mouth to top and bottom. So right in the middle, I need to split it. And so at this point, I tip, you can drag all these dots. And typically, I make this kind of fit the chin area. But depending on what you're doing, um, you can play with it. Now, this large green dot is very important. This is how wide this area is going to open up when you talk. So you can play with it. And the nice thing is you're not done. So we'll, we'll just kind of give it a small opening right now and I'll press the next button. I'm going to choose my microphone from my computer and most times your computers will say um, I'll want to confirm that you're allowing your microphone so I'll say allow and even as I talk now you can see that Mr. T's mouth is moving and it actually looks pretty good. Now if as you're talking you don't like how it looks you can go back to the mouth and you can click and you can adjust things. So you can make it open wider or smaller. And you'll play with that until you get it to a place that you like. But I actually kind of like So I'm going to go back to pick a sound. Again, my microphone. And you can see it's moving. Now, I haven't started recording yet. I'd have to click this button right here to begin recording. So I'm going to do that now. I'm actually going to tell a joke that I looked up. Um, hey, hey, you. What did the math, or, oh no, what did the science book say to the math book? He said, 
you got problems. Ha 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 ha, that's funny. Now, at this point, you can see it's still moving, but I had pressed stop recording, and hopefully you can play and see a preview. Now, this is one thing I found. So right now, it's not playing, but I've played with Blabberize enough to know sometimes it's just taking a little bit. So if I go to this next button, um, and sometimes I'll press OK, and it still doesn't want to work. But I know that if, if I'm patient, and I'll say OK, but let's just say save. I'm going to give it a title. I'll call it Mr. T. Um, Mr. T tells joke. You don't really have to do a lot, but you do need to put a tag. I'll just put funny. I'm going to make sure it's private, and hopefully we're not making anything mature or using objectionable words. In fact, if you're a student of mine, you better not. Anyways, you'll press save. And hopefully now it'll give you a preview. Hey, hey you. And you can see it what is actually working. Map? Right. Now, yo, yo. this is what just, um, uh, it's not in a video mode yet. And so I want to show you how to actually download it as a video. And that's how I, I actually downloaded my chicken singing as a video and, and then put it in some editing software. So you, you want to click, I want this on video. And then, are you sure you want a video? And you just say, yes, convert now. And you'll give it a moment. And depending on how quickly Blabberize is working, it may take a bit, but it says done. And then simply you click, click here to download. And you'll notice down here in the lower left hand of my screen, it is downloaded. And so that's it. Um, fun website to try to do some goofy things. I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun.